Hello, hello everyone. I'm so glad you're here. Let's make envelopes. That's one of the most fun things to do. I don't know why. I am making envelopes with wallpaper books. So this was a wallpaper book and I just put some lace. This is a like the simplest envelope you can make. If you want to make them, cut you a rectangle. It, it doesn't really doesn't matter what size it is. I would guess mine was probably about 10 inches by that looks like about four and a half, but any size works. And take your which part of you want to be the top flap and just add something to it. Stitch some lace, um, take some fancy scissors, anything in the world you want to do. Okay, stitch that on first or glue it down. Then I take and I stitch here, here, and here on my machine because wallpaper doesn't like to glue very easily. So I like to stitch mine. And when you get ready to put it in a book, you can either put it, let's find a good place. Oh, this book is so, <laughs> this book is so full of stuff. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure there is a place. It is stuffed. You could, like this one I have right here, but you could stick it up under, let something hold on to it like that. You could stick it in a corner. Um, uh, this is an envelope, it's half of it. You could stick it down in there if you wanted to. You could stick it down in a pocket if you wanted to. There's just, there's so many fun things you can do. And one of the other fun things I love to do, you can go around the edge of a page like this and put one of your decorative paper clips right here. So then you can flip it over like this and it would open up and you can get your stuff out of it, put some things in it, or you can just take the paper clip off. So there's just there's no end to what all you can do with them. So these are just some ideas I want to inspire you um, to get out there and make you some. This is wallpaper also, and this is just a cardstock border that I had. I had these, this pack of borders, and I never seemed to use them, and they're gorgeous. I thought, oh, I'm going to use them right now. This is wallpaper again. I've just put a strip of lace. I leave all my strings hanging. I usually don't trim them because that's a little more shabby looking. And I put a corner pocket. So you can see that. I put a corner pocket on the back side of that one. Um, this one, this is wallpaper again. And it's all coffee themed and stuff like that. Had these little cutout things. The, well, I cut them out, these little pictures. So I just applique, if you will. I stitched that onto some black cardstock. Then I did my stitching. Here and here. There's your pocket. Okay, very simple. Here's another one. I'll show you how to did this one. I did this one all the way up, but I cut uh, with a, a one inch punch about a half circle, and I let the flap come down longer, and I may even add some lace to make it even longer, just for fun. Why not? This is wallpaper, guys. Believe it or not, it's called Grasslands. I wish you could feel that, but you can hear it. It's made with natural grasses. Uh, it's really, really cool. And you can stitch on it with your machine. So I did fancy stitching and left a pocket there. Uh, wallpaper again. Just put my lace on there. Zip, zip, zip. Look at this one. I wish you could feel them. This is like that balsa wood. It's still wallpaper in that grassland um, sample book, but it's it's like little strips of balsa in there. That is so cool. Love it, love it, love it. Now, this one I lined because I liked it. I just put some cardstock in there. And there's another one of those borders that come out of that set that I have. Here's another border. It's got some vintage stuff. This is another piece of that grassland um, wallpaper. This one's got a metallic, kind of a silver behind the grasses. And then I lined that one on the inside. This one has like jute fibers running through it and little bitty bitty threads that go this way that hold it all down. And then it's got black, something black shiny in the background. 
And I liked the rough edge of that, so I left it. See, it's even peeling off. I love that. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Same thing with this. When I tore it out of the book, it came out with this ragged edge, and I went, oh, I love it. Leave it there. Leave it there. So this one has a silver background, and it's also got these little um, jute-like fibers. So, I mean, again, all I did, I stitched. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. I didn't even do the bottom. Just three three lines will work. Here's another one with that jute going that way. This is another one of those borders. It's eggs, but I thought it was so cute. So cute. Look at this one. Almost looks like snake skin. And this is another one of my borders. Lined it with another one. Another kind. This is another one of my borders. <laughs> I'm looking at this envelope now going, wow. That's crooked. But you know what? It's hard to fold these things because it folds where it wants to because of that grassy stuff in there. But that one's a little crooked. So you know what? It's imperfect. It's perfectly imperfect. Isn't that what they say about handmade goods? <laughs> and look at this one. Oh my gosh, this stuff right here. That would be so cool as wallpaper. I would love that. This is part of my border again. You can see that it's wallpaper. So anyway, these are all different sizes. There's probably not two exactly the same. It doesn't matter what size. Just start with a rectangle. Fold this up as far as you want for a pocket. Fold this down for your flap. Remember to leave some room right here so you can get your hand in. Or if you forget, then cut a little divot with a round punch or something in there. But anyway, they're so much fun. And now we get to make closures for them. And I like swing tabs and stuff. So I might go work on that and make some different kind of closures for these. How fun that would be. So thanks for watching. Go out there and get creative. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.